You ever played tennis? Yeah. You like to play tennis? Yeah. You like to watch tennis? Yeah. Do you know why Donald Trump loves tennis? Why? Because that's the only place where he can experience love. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm here till Thursday. If you don't know how to score in tennis, then that joke completely misses its point with you. Just Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Rex. It's up, Corbin. I'm not Donald Trump. Uh, stop saying his name. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to our patron, follow us Twitter account, subscribe to the like button. It's like saying Voldemort. Uh, <laughs> no, I'd rather say Voldemort. <laughs> well, yeah. But I'm saying how they feel in the movie about saying Voldemort. Yeah. Anyways, today we got a uh, Malayalam trailer. Uh, this film, uh, it, this came out a few months ago, but the film came out earlier this year. Okay. Uh, but it's a Malayalam called... Roman Cham. Okay. That's it. Uh, <laughs> and I think it's a kind of like a, the horror comedy genre. Awesome. Uh, but it's with Subin. Oh, so great. Here. And uh, uh, it also looks like it has some of the Beatles. And John Paul George. <laughs> Poor uh, Ringo. Always left out. Always left out. John Paul George Productions. That's yeah. funny. Uh, obviously, my Liam has a lot of Christian. Yeah, uh, of course. Okay. It's just the, the fact that it was in that, that order. Yeah. Yeah. Um... I, I've heard some good things uh, about this film, so if you've seen this film and uh, like it, let us know if it's one that we, is worth a watch. Um, I know we missed uh, some good Malayalam film, like the you know, Associates one that we saw, yeah, uh, that we missed last year. Um, but you know, there's so many Indian stuff to come out. Obviously, more we, often than not, Malayalam miss. films are good. Yeah, uh, we've seen. I mean, it's probably like a 98 percent success rate with yeah, it really Malayalam is film. really true. I'd have to. It's probably something high up there like that. Uh, it is. It's in the it really 90s is. for sure. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, shit. I know what they're doing. Yeah. No, it's not a Ouija board. It's going to work like one. seen a, uh, a horror comedy um, from Malayalam? the Malayalam industry? I know the original uh, Bull Bull, the, that's... The, the original of that That is, film is a Malayalam well, we film, but we haven't seen see that film yet. Um, we need I don't to. think so. I don't think, which is interesting. One, it has Subin, obviously. I'm We've seen films that are, that are scary, but we haven't seen like a street 
type of from Malayalam film, from Malayalam cinema that I can recall. The uh, horror we saw last year was more just a straight up, it's like with the right. bolt. I forget what it was called, but it, we really enjoyed that one. Yeah, um, that one was nice. This looks like it could be a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> it has that Malayalam flair of just like. You, you know, don't know what the heck's going on. Don't know what's going to happen. Weird, quirky. Uh, I know. The I th- walking by and then the walking by. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh huh. But I, I'm interested. Uh, you ever done a Ouija board? You're you're really asking me. You're looking your younger days. People explore when they're younger. You don't. You don't know about my history with Ouija boards. Oh yeah, that's your thing. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I, I forget. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I had from the age of seventeen until the age of twenty-three, I was deeply involved. Nice. And at the time, what would be referred to as New Ageism. So I was very, very much involved in um, Ouija boards and trans mediums and out-of-body experiences and. Um, but yeah, I've I have logged countless hours. <laughs> yeah, I always, uh, you know, me being a skeptic. <laughs> and by the way, I hate it. By, by the way, don't do it. Do not do it. See, it's like the it's like yeah. the trailer. No, yeah. <laughs> don't. I remember when I went to buy my first Ouija board at the Psychic Eye Bookshop here in. Sherman would still exists. I remember I went to buy it, and thankfully, and I hope it's still the same way. They shouldn't be sold. I see them at freaking Target. Uh, I went to buy it, and the, she looked at me and, and she said, "You know what you're doing, right?" I said, "Yes, I do." She said, "Okay, it's not a game." I said, "I know it's not a game. I know what I'm doing." So yeah, uh, they work. That's all I'm going to tell you, and I know they work. Nah. Uh- <laughs> Anyways, back to the trailer. <laughs> and I, that actually didn't look like a Ouija, but it looked like something obviously, obviously very, very similar. It has the where you have the thing. You have the thing in the middle, and you have some letters or some numbers so that you can all collectively you know, yes, you know, and it uses energy to yes. Um. Anyways, but it, it looked like a really fun movie. Uh, I would a thousand percent be down to watch it uh, if you guys say it's a, if if it's a good film. Would it's I, also you know I, it's also so interesting that these films come out. In January, or like as opposed to like yes, here. that's an October. I mean, film. obviously, there's there's horror films that come here that that aren't in, in more and more, but the majority of the time, it's around one, Halloween. You'll get more box office because people want to be scared. To see yeah. scary movies during an October season, but obviously in India they, they don't have that no. spooky season. And, no, but and some people release their their, their scary film. Not at that time because they don't want to get lost in the shuffle of some of the bigger films that do really, really well. Yeah. One of my favorite things about this was at the very, very end, Subin and the guy across from him looking at each other with that look in their eye of, oh, wait a minute. Is all of this just these two guys pulling something over people? Or what, what was that look about? There's so much intriguing stuff in that. Oh, trailer. interesting. Based off real events that happened in the life of seven bachelors in Bangalore in huh. 2007 after playing a Ouija board. They call it a Ouija board. Yeah. It's a. Um, I'm guessing it's a different kind style. I, I don't know. It's it's uh, the same principle. Event followed there's by di- it. There's different layouts of them. Jithu Madhavan. She sounds familiar. Maybe it's just Jithu Joseph yeah. is who I'm more familiar with. Yeah, and sin- sincerely, I, there's a... <laughs> Subin Sham. Don't screw around with him. Um, Please. He looks familiar, doesn't he? He was in Vikram. Oh, and and, and Girl's Diaries. Uh, we've seen him oh, a, a yeah, few times. Oh, yeah, sure have. Um, but Subin, obviously. He's always I love great. Subin. I would love always to be able great. to talk to him. He's one. Of, I don't have any contacts in the Malayalam industry, and I wish I did because there's so many people I want to talk to. Um, but if anybody knows, I'd just let him know. I would love to sit down and chat with him. He's there's one of a few f- people in Malayalam we'd love to talk yeah, to. Yeah, one a notable one uh, specifically. <laughs> That I would really, really love. Yeah, I'll let you guess who that is. Yeah. Uh, but Atsubin's one of them. Uh, and Absolutely. And this looks like a, a, a very fun premise. It's just over two hours. Looks like a two hours ten. Yeah. Um, I would, without hesitation, I'd watch this one. Yeah. So uh, let us know down in the comments below if you think it's worth a watch. Obviously, no spoilers or anything like that. Yes, please. Uh, Thank for, you. For everybody who has not seen it. Um, but let us know. If not, what should be the next Malayalam film that we watch? Please let us know down below. Just.